Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Brugly channel. I'm your host, Brugly, as always. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about Backrooms level Megalophobia. This level is such a unique concept, and it's also terrifying for a bunch of different reasons, which I'll get into in this explanation. Anyways, if you do like uniquely scary and terrifying Backrooms levels, then you'll wanna stick around for this explanation. Thank you for watching, and let's get into it, shall we? Backrooms level megalophobia is classified as a class 3 difficulty and is unsafe and unsecure with some entities running around. Now the word megalophobia actually means the fear of huge objects, so if you have that, tread with caution. The level itself resembles a town, specifically a really old looking town. And the houses here date back to the early 1800s, but some of them look a little bit newer. Now, even though these buildings obviously look old, they're not broken and they're not worn down or anything. They're in incredible shape. But the weirdness is just getting started because inside some of the houses, the walls have Level Zero's wallpaper on them and Level Zero's carpet. Very strange. The town also has no paved roads or anything like that. Instead, it's just dirt paths or rock paths. Now, even though this town is straight out of the 1800s, there's also electrical poles and wires running through them. And there's even cell phone towers here. So yeah, why does a town that looks so old have modern day technology? The houses here also have tons and tons of non-Euclidean properties that make no sense whatsoever. Like some of them are just massive on the inside, but tiny looking on the outside. Some of the houses are flooded completely from the floor to the ceiling. And some of the doors in the houses open up to nothing on the other side except the wall. And a really common thing is that the ceiling ceilings have an insane amount of light bulbs in them. Just a ton of weird stuff like that is happening inside these houses, even though the outside looks like it's from the 1800s. But it still gets even more mysterious, because the entire town of this level is actually inside of a superstructure. So literally everything you see is inside of this ungodly massive building. The building kind of looks like a factory, but instead of just a normal factory, it's a huge factory with with massive windows on each side. And these windows cannot be seen out of because there's just bright lights coming through them. They also kind of smell like coal and ash if you get too close, which is another interesting thing. Now, it's not known how big this mega structure is, but it is so big that it's got its own weather and clouds inside of it. Because sometimes the level has rain and thunderstorms, which makes it even weirder because it's raining and thunderstorming inside of a building. It isn't recommended to go anywhere near the walls of this level because of the windows there. And these windows are not just harmless things. Some of them are window entities, which will suck you in and eat you, and you'll never be seen again if you go near it. So, yeah. Something that isn't talked a lot about in this level are the echoes, echoes that, that happen, happen in it. it. Like, just talking slightly louder than your normal voice will cause these huge echoes to bounce off the walls, the ceiling, and the roof. So if there's ever a thunderstorm or rain that pops up, you better run inside of a building to avoid going crazy or deaf from all the sounds and echoes. And also on top of that, sometimes you can hear really strange noises like screaming or crying way off in the distance. Just a faint echo of it. It's not known if these noises are real or if you're just going crazy from losing your sanity, but either way, it would be pretty terrifying to hear a bunch of screaming. These screams might also be coming from the next part of the level, which is called the holes. These holes lead to underground tunnels beneath the town and beneath that mega building. These holes are randomly placed and randomly generated along the level, so no one really knows where they're at, but you'll know one when you find one, because it's just a big hole. And if you do jump into one of these holes, you will fall into a tunnel. And these tunnels are part of a huge system of long, claustrophobic labyrinths of tunnels that have a few inches of lukewarm water in the middle. The water isn't flowing, it's just completely still, and it looks like it's supposed to be a sewer kind of down here. Except, instead of being dirty and nasty like a normal sewer, these tunnels are 100% clean. There's no dirt, no grime, nothing. Just 
clean blue water and clean white surfaces. And the tunnels themselves are made out of this marble type of rock that actually dampens any sound that happens near them. So if you're splashing around or screaming, it won't be that loud, it won't be that echoey, because the stone absorbs it. The tunnels are also lit up by these really weird orb light things on the walls, which is pretty nice, but it also means that there's a bunch of entities here as well. Speaking of entities, the only entities that will be above ground in that town area are window entities, hounds, and facelings. And these are pretty common in most backrooms levels, so they're common here. And those are the only ones that have been seen so far. There could be more. But down in the depths of these tunnels, there are a ton more, like clumps, the hydrolytus plague, insanities, hairworms, which are brain-altering parasites that live in the water and, if ingested, can make you very sick. There's also skin stealers, and these are the ones that have just been seen so far in the tunnels, but as I said, the tunnels are this infinite labyrinth of weird tunnels that no one's ever explored, so there could be more, since no one has any idea how deep they go. There are no bases or outposts here, and to enter the level, you can be sent here by randomly no-clipping from level 38, or you can find a ski lift in any level and ride it to be sent to the town here. But I don't think I'd be coming here, to be honest. I don't really like big things, so I kind of have megalophobia in a way, and the fact that there's a town inside of a giant factory is terrifying to me. So to summarize the level, level Megalophobia is a decently large town made out of old looking buildings and roads. However, even though this town is old, there are modern technologies like cell phone towers and telephone wires everywhere. And all of the level takes place inside of a mega structure with huge roofs and walls and windows. This mega building is so big that clouds and weather can form above the town. And underneath all of this crazy stuff is more crazy stuff. A maze of tunnels filled with clean blue water that goes deeper and gets more claustrophobic as you go. Cool stuff. That's it for the video. Thank you for watching to the end. If you are still watching, I want you to comment Mega Brugly in the comment section because if you comment that, then you're a real one. As always, I'll throw a heart at your comment and I appreciate you. Make sure to drop a sub on the channel since we are on the road to 500,000 and the channel's getting so close. I mean, we're literally just, I can almost touch it pretty much. Thank you all so much for your support. I cannot believe how far we've grown here. I just, thank you so much. Thank you. Also, go check out my second and third channels, Toogly and Spoogly. Doogly gets reactions, gameplays, funny rants like four times a week. Spoogly gets SCPs and conspiracy theories like two times a week. So there's something for everybody. I'm trying to get Toogly to 50k by the end of the year and we're already at 32,000. So if you do want to help me get that, drop us a sub. It's free, please. Thank you for everything and I will see you in the next video. Peace.